Welcome to the next lesson, creating a professional online presence. And in this lesson, we're going to learn why having a professional online presence will greatly help you out in this business. And then I'm going to show you how to set one up for practically free. An online presence is simply a collection of websites and social media profiles that define you and your business on the internet. And since we're selling products online, this is really the only way that people and businesses have of finding us nowadays. No one really uses the phone book or the yellow pages. Instead, they log into their computer, their phone or their laptop, and they simply search and look you up. This is important because having a professional online presence creates immediate trust and legitimacy. And while these steps here are absolutely optional, we found that they will greatly help you when you work with potential suppliers. And since this is the module when we're doing that, it would be best to have this set up before you start contacting your suppliers. By setting up just a few online profiles, you'll be ready to go in no time at all. And the filing are fast, easy, and nearly free to set up. The first and most important would be a domain email address. So instead of having a common email service, such as Gmail or Yahoo, it always looks a bit more professional if your emails are coming from a real domain similar to what your company name might look like. In this example, I'm using Mike at ninjaspatulas.com if that were my brand or company name. Now, if you don't have a company or brand name picked out right now, that's totally fine. You can always try and just use your Gmail or whatever email address you currently have, or you can come up with a generic business name to use for now, since these are incredibly affordable to set up and you can always change it later on. Next would be a LinkedIn profile. These are completely free to set up and LinkedIn is now the worldwide standard for both businesses and professionals looking to create a professional online presence. This way, if you're communicating with supplier, if they look you up on LinkedIn, they'll see that you are a real person that they are dealing with and it'll help out in your negotiations. If you'll be sourcing any products off of Alibaba, then you'll also need to set up a completely free Alibaba profile. And I've listed this after LinkedIn because if you already have a LinkedIn profile, it makes it very fast and easy to use that when creating your Alibaba profile. The last thing you can set up is a Facebook page for your business, which is separate from your own personal Facebook page. We're not actually going to use this right now. This is for future use. But later on when you're building out your brand and then we're running ads towards your products, you will need a Facebook page. So it's always good to have it set up ahead of time, start getting a little age in Facebook's mind because that makes it easier when you want to run ads later on. You don't have to publish it and you can even change the name of this page so it doesn't really matter what you call it right now. But I figure we might as well go out there and get one set up right now just for future use. Now when choosing a company name to use on these profiles, it's best to have a more generic type of company name for right now. One reason is because you haven't chosen your final product yet, so you don't know exactly what it is. And the other is most big companies out there, they don't actually have a company name that's tied directly to a product or set of products. If you think about some of the biggest company and brand names out there like Apple, Nike, and Amazon, those names have nothing at all to do with the type of products that they actually sell. Now, if you do come up with another company later on, you decide on a different name and you want to incorporate it or create an LLC, it's also very easy to go into any one of these profiles and change that name. So don't feel like you're locked into this for the rest of your business career. One question we also get is that what if you already have a LinkedIn profile and you don't want those people who know you to know that you're out there starting a new business yet? That's very common. Don't worry about it. What we recommend is creating a new profile. And on there, I would put in your same first and last name because it's very common to have dozens of people with the same first and last name out there in the world, uh, but you don't need to include your picture so they can't tie it back to you. And I would put the name of this new company that you just came up with in that profile so that if suppliers do decide to check you out, they will find someone on LinkedIn with your name and with your business name out there. But again, you don't have to have that picture there. Now, let me log into my computer and actually show you how to get these different profiles set up. So here I am on my web browser, and the first site that I'll go to is godaddy.com. And if you notice, the offer that I have pulled up right here is to buy a website or a domain for only 99 cents, and that covers you for the entire year. Now you can't always find this offer. Uh, we currently have a link for this offer below, I'm putting this right on the screen right now. And also in the private resource vault, we'll have a link that you can use to go straight to this offer as well. Now, GoDaddy always has lots of different offers going on. You can't always find this one. So as long as this one's active, we'll make sure that this link takes you straight to it. But if you want to check out their other offers while you're on there, you can always go on to the promos tab as well. I'll do this right now. 
and you'll see lots of different offers. If you're ready to go ahead and build your own website, if you wanna go out there and get web hosting, um, all other kinds of deals out there, like you don't really need hardly any of these. All you need right now is a domain name and then you'll just need to get one email address with it. And usually, it doesn't always happen this way, but usually when you get that 99 cent domain, they will give you an email address to set up and use with it. GoDaddy is really cheap and affordable, but there are, of course, there are lots of other services out there. There's Wix, there is HostGator, there's probably web.com. Uh, hundreds of other companies do similar services. I know that I just use GoDaddy because they're really simple. And uh, the other reason is because they have great technical support. So instead of me walking you through how to set up your own domain and how to get an email address set up for it, the best thing to do is to go and get your domain for 99 cent, and then simply call their technical support line. Now for me in the US, that is the number, 480-505-8877. It may be different for you, but GoDaddy really does have awesome support and they're able to walk completely non-technical people like myself through getting this all set up. Once you have that set up, you should have your email address ready to go. Uh, and keep in mind, you don't need a website. You just want that domain name so that you can use it for an email. Later on down the road, should you choose to do so, and Rich Tennyson will walk you through this, you can set up your own website, but it's not necessary right now. Now, once you do have your own domain email address set up, now it's time to go in and create your own LinkedIn profile. So let me switch on over to LinkedIn. So let's create one right here. Let's say that I'm gonna be Mike. Clary, Mike at ninjaspatulas.com. Yes, I really do have that website. Let's create this profile. Now it's going to verify a few things here for me. Um, put in my zip code. No, I'm not a student. I'm an owner of Ninja Spatulas. And for the industry, let's see. We're going to pick out, I believe it's retail is what we want. And retail. All right. Click on next. And then you just answer a few simple things on here. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? We want to build my, uh, I want to stay up to date in my industry. You can pick any one of those. It doesn't really matter what it is. Now they've sent a code to me. I'm going to go verify that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just confirmed my email address. So the next thing you can do, you just add a few simple things. It's gonna walk you right through it, but basically upload a picture and type a little bit about you. Um, I'll do that right now. You don't have to sit here and watch me do it, and then I'll come back again in a second when it's over. Okay, so I added a picture and I'm just adding some basic work details. So if you did create your own business, now just because you don't have a business set up like a corporation or S Corp or LLC, you don't have to have one of those to own a business. People own their own businesses every day. So you feel free to say that you do own your business. You are now an entrepreneur. You're working on a business. So there's nothing wrong with telling people in your profile that you are a business owner. So I'm going to put in some basic details here. All right, I work at Ninja Spatches. I'm the owner and I'm done. And basically, there we go. There is my profile. You could go ahead and add any more information that you wanted to on here. Uh, but basically, really all you need is just an image, a name, and the fact that you are a real person owning a business, and then you're all done with LinkedIn. So that's it for this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Alibaba next. Now, here I am on the registration page for here. I'm going to click on the either the join free, or if you notice this down here, it says sign in with LinkedIn. And since we already have an account on LinkedIn, this is gonna make this process really simple. They're asking just for some basic, basic information. I need to give them this and my password, allow access. And it's automatically getting us over here to create a new account. It's populated my email address, my name, my company name, uh, the company name, actually I'm gonna, instead of the owner at Ninja Spatulas, I'm gonna change that just to Ninja Spatulas. And you can decide not to uh, receive this if you want to. I'll click on submit. And then we are done. We have created our own Alibaba profile in addition to our LinkedIn profile.
This is all that you need, and we're going to be using this account in an upcoming video to actually source some products. But for the last thing, let me show you how to create a simple Facebook page for your business. Now here I am on my personal Facebook page. The only thing that I did is I actually just selected the option to create a page. It's under, uh, you'll see it under your own menu up here. You can simply just drop that down and you'll see a button that says create a page. And once you do that, you will get to this page. And then I'm going to choose what type of page. I like to choose brand or product. And then the category again, I would make it as a brand because that's traditionally what we're going to be building here. And then you just give it any name you want for your brand. We're going to call this one Ninja Spatulas Round 4 because I've created several of these now. Uh, and I'll click Get Started. And then once we're done here, and then our page is created. Now we don't have a profile, we don't have a cover picture, but that's okay. We're not really using this page. It's not even published and available to anyone. We just want to create this to get it out of the way so that later on when we're building out our brand, it's already there. And also later on when we're using this to do some advertising during our promotion, our page has a little bit of age to it. So that's it for this lesson. And now you should have a professional online presence all set up so you're ready to reach out and contact suppliers. But before you do that, there's one other thing I want you to do. Be sure to go into the community and get your online professional badge. And when you're done, head over to the next lesson and we'll start looking for suppliers.